It basically is not the testing, but the process of running and kind of analyzing those tests. And that's why we went down to the University of Arizona to talk to the president about this issue. Because when you hear of po false positives at a university, you think, OK, how does this happen? Aren't they experts in testing? So let's walk you through exactly what happened. The university says that one day uh, they found 13 athletes tested positive and they were surprised. So athletics did some digging and they discovered that many of the positive test results came from the women's soccer team. So they started asking questions of all the players. Did you go to a big party or gathering? And they all said they didn't. They were following the rules. So the university decided to retest them and found only two of the 13 athletes came back with those positive tests. So 11 false positives. There were also four false positives with the non-student athletes in that same batch. The university says at that point they realized there was an issue in the lab. President, uh, the doctor, he's a doctor as well, uh, Robert Robbins tells me there was a contamination during the process where they moved the samples around in what they say is an automated fashion, so with robots. So yeah, I was disappointed, but um, you know, it, it happens and uh, we just have to make sure we continue to adhere to the policies and procedures of good laboratory practices and, um, and just continue to test. When you do this many tests uh, so rapidly, um, you know, occasionally you're gonna have mistakes. And the, the good news is there, were, there, was, there was a policy or there was a procedure in place to catch the mistake. And that procedure was the extensive contact tracing they did to basically kind of figure out this looks a little uh, unusual. Let's retest all of these student athletes. Guys, I did talk to a health expert who says that, you know, the false positives with those PCR tests, they're very rare, but they do happen. And he applauds the university for admitting it. And I will say with working on them uh, with this story, guys, they were very upfront. They were very transparent about everything. There was that issue in the lab. And now they're doing a full audit of the process and working to fix that. So uh, that is what we gathered from you guys as we went to Tucson to kind of figure out more information about these false positives results there.